Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mrs. Smith 88. So today I have a Aldi Huntington Home Candle Haul for you guys. I have to say that I was kind of excited to see that Aldi put out candles once again. I felt like during the winter time there was a little bit of a candle hiatus, which in a way I appreciated because I was able to focus more on using what I had versus buying new. I know one of the things that I'm trying to do this year is to focus on only buying Aldi candles, trying to avoid Yankee, Bath and Body Works. That way I can focus on using what I have. So that's why there really hasn't been too many videos for me is I'm just at a point where I want to use what I have, enjoy what I have, and not continue to buy more. I don't mind buying these candles because they are very budget friendly. So I'm going to call these the spring candles because we, I guess we would be going into spring even though it's not Valentine's Day yet. These are not Valentine's Day candles. We already had a round of Valentine's Day candles. So I think these are meant to be spring candles. There is at least one re-promote in the bunch. I will go ahead and touch base on that. But let me go ahead and jump in. So the price point on these candles at my store was $4.59. Great value for a soy candle. That is 60 cents more than what they were last year, but I'm okay paying those prices at Aldi. So the first one I have here is Chamomile Green Tea. Really cute label. It looks like it has some um, daisies on it, has a cup of tea on it. And it is a very pale green color, like camera is not even picking up the proper color. Just a really pretty pale sage green. Not quite full on sage green, but definitely a pale <laughs> sage green. These did have nice thick wicks. The wicks did have good spacing with them. And with these videos, I like to give you guys my personal interpretation. I did not look up the scent notes. I don't know if there are scent notes on the website. Didn't look to see if there's scent notes on the bottom. I will go ahead and check that. So let me go ahead and give this one a sniff so I can let you guys know what I think. So no scent notes on the bottom of this one. And when I smelled this in store, and even right now, this is a little bit nostalgic for me. So 10 or so years ago, I used to be a crazy, crazy couponer. Literally, I lived off my stockpile for multiple years. And one of the deals I got was at a local Rite Aid. And it was on a powdered Tide detergent. I have never bought powdered Tide detergent since. Not that I don't like the smell of powdered Tide detergent, but that candle smells exactly like powdered tide detergent powdered oxyclean as always at the end of this video i'm gonna rate these number one through four least favorite to most favorite let's go ahead and touch base on this bottom candle here this is a re-promote this has been out before pretty sure i already have it in my collection I dug through my collection a little bit, but I wasn't going to continue to dig. I was going to skip repurchasing this because I've had it before. This is White Almond. Love, love, love the artwork on this candle. Very, very pretty. Ivory in color. The scent on this one literally smells like cherry almond. It reminds me of like cherry almond icing. Um very heavy into the cherry almond if you're a cherry almond person i definitely think that it is going to be right up your alley i've had it before i can't recall if i've burnt it before or if it's still lingering around in my collection but i was going to skip out on that one so the next one we have here is coconut lemon so we have some lemons as well as some coconuts on the label pale yellow in color So I have to say this one smells like sugary lemon. It smells like a lemon curd, a lemon custard, a lemon meringue. And then I get that hint of coconut in there. It is a very well balanced, well blended lemon coconut scent. If you are a lemon meringue person, I definitely would suggest picking this one up. Okay. 
Then the next one I have here is Desert Rose. Hands down, this one out of all of them has the most beautiful label on it. I love the floral pattern on this one. This one has a little bit more of a bubblegum vibrant pink color to it. Out of all of these, I think this one has the best coloring to it. So when I smell this, I get a very true sharp rose scent. Very true to life rose. You get a little bit of a green stemminess in there with the rose. So now let me go ahead and rate these number one through four, least favorite to most favorite. So in my number four, least favorite spot is gonna be white almond. If you are a cherry almond person, you like the smell of like cherry almond icing, you like the smell of, one thing I can't help but think of is my mom always used liquid gold furniture polish and it was cherry almond scented and I, I just don't like cherry almond scent. So that is not a scent for me. I picked these up to review for you guys, let you guys know what I think. So my number three least favorite, and I was honestly hoping that this would be my number one, and unfortunately it wasn't, um, Desert Rose. So when I heard the name, well I should say when I saw the name Desert Rose, I honestly thought that it was going to be like Bath and Body Works Cactus Blossom. I figured it was going to be a spin on Cactus Blossom. Absolutely not. True rose scent. I cannot stand true rose scents. Like, I like rose scents, but like, I like way Melrose Place when it comes to rose scents. Um, I don't like that sharp green, realistic rose scent at all. So that leaves my top two. So in the number two spot, and this is going to surprise you, is going to be the coconut lemon. Most of you guys probably thought that coconut lemon would be my first place based on my original um, expression in the video. Like I said, you get that lemon curd, you get that coconut, very well balanced. If you are a fruity, tooty person, this is going to be right up your alley. If you love lemon, it's going to be up your alley. I am a lemon fiend lately. Like, I don't like cleaner lemon, but, like, I like lemon meringue scent, lemon cookie scents. Absolutely phenomenal. If I was not trying to work through my collection, I probably would have picked up two coconut lemon. But hands down, by my surprise, my number one is the chamomile green tea. It is just clean smelling. I love <laughs> the smell of powdered Tide detergent. And I don't know why I haven't repurchased powdered Tide detergent. I think it's because, believe it or not, I'm still living off of my stockpile. And I have not couponed in more than five years. And I still have enough laundry detergent and Tide Pods that I have not had to buy laundry detergent in more than five years. So would I buy powdered side? Absolutely. I like the smell of laundry, clean scents, cleaning scents that are not lemon scents, like fresh, aquatic, clean, cleaning scents, if that makes sense. That's what this candle struck me as, and I love it. Like literally, I would easily pick up two, if not three of that one. I definitely feel like in this collection there was something for everyone. You have your fruity one, you have your super floral one, you have your very clean smelling one, and then that white almond almost, I wouldn't say go bakery, but obviously it goes um, sweet, um, delectable smelling with the like almost cherry almond icing kind of smell to it. So I definitely think that there is something for everyone in this candle collection, but hands down, chamomile green tea is the one for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and bye everyone.